What's going on everybody? 915 Mang here gonna do a video showing off the tank at night. Like most of you, we only check out the tank in the morning and in the evening. Uh, you know, we gotta go to work and things like that. So I don't even see the T5s on except for the weekends. So when I do get to check it out, um, this is my view guys and I just wanna go ahead and share that with you. Uh, so if you haven't done so, go ahead and uh, subscribe and more videos will are sure to come. The thing you're looking at right now is a branching Montipora um, off on the right upper right corner and I picked that up from uh, Cultivator Reef. Uh, it's CultivatorReef.com. It just started off like as a little tiny frag um, and then it's just as you can see it's spread. You know branches are going upward and it's going to take over this whole rock pretty soon. I would like to get some Sunset Montipora but uh, that'll be probably a later date. This right here is some red digi. Um, same thing, little frag plug right there. Picked that up from a person on Instagram, Corey. Uh, his his uh, username is 6T7Mustang. I've talked about him several times, but you know I really got hooked up with from him on the last quarter order, order that I did. Another thing is that uh, red flower pot or Ghani, whatever you want to pick, call that. I picked that up from my uh, local fish store, Sea Creatures. It is doing good. Um, I like it because it throws different color into the tank. Um, both of these pieces right here I picked up from my buddy Javi. And uh, I've shown his tank before in the uh, past. My goal is to have those encrust onto the rock. Take over that whole rock. And just be real colorful. Um, you know in this hobby there's a lot of greens uh, with corals. And I, I like to change it up. I like to get you know the reds yellows um just different colors nothing wrong with green but mixing it up and getting a whole bunch of different colors is is what i want um and i think that's what a lot of people are attracted to when they uh get into the reef my clothes now these clothes on the left i also got those from uh cultivated reef i got them like one or two heads and now you can just see that they have dominated this area um, I picked up the clothes on the right from my uh, LFS sea creatures and uh, I had been trying to get some of those for a while. Um, I actually did order some and I, I ordered some but they just never took off the, the clothes on the right. And as you can see they're starting to spread on the rock and they just add a lot of life to your tank. The colors, you know, you see the greens, you know, the tips of yellow. And then on the other clothes, you know, you see the pinks and then with the green. So they just really set off the tank and, and with the movement, they're just awesome. So clothes easily, one of my favorite corals around. I have no plans on uh, fragging these at all, but I just want them to go ahead and take over, just spread onto that rock and just grow. Uh, like I said, easily one of my favorite corals around. And the color that they have is just awesome. Uh, I just want to go ahead and zoom out now and show you my uh, chalice that I have. I have a couple of chalices in this area. I have a nice orange uh, chalice that I put on a uh, rock. I super glued it. And the reason why I did that is so that my um, rasp would stop flipping it over. And so far it hasn't been flipped over. And then I'm, I'm planning on having it played out and grow onto that rock which would be a nice big piece. Previously, I had all T5s. I had a six bulb uh, fixture from ATI in it, and it was nice. But for me, um, I'm really loving the LEDs again. Uh, so glad that I switched over. You know, I still have T5s because I, I do love T5s. I'm a big fan of them. But instead of having to change out six bulbs, you know, I have be the best of both worlds with the two bulb T5s and an LED. So. Without that, uh, I'm getting good growth, and then the color is amazing. I'm going to go ahead and do a side view of this tank. Um, for me, it's pretty much one of the most important parts of a reef tank, uh, the depth of a tank, the dimensions. Uh, my tank is only like 17 or 18 inches deep, um, which is why I would like a bigger tank. Um, six feet tank are nice. Five foot is what this is and but the depth is awesome um, I know some people have like 30 inch tanks that are 30 inches deep which is just amazing because you can just do so much more with uh, a wide wider tank you know 
like for example, a 55 gallon tank, nothing wrong with the 55 gallon, you know, it's a good, good size tank. It's pretty much what I first started with, but the width of it just wasn't big enough. Um, so if you're just getting into reef keeping, you want to get some fish or you just want to do a fish only live rock, a fowler. Um, I suggest you go with the biggest tank that you can afford um, because here I am a couple of years later wanting a bigger tank, you know, uh, the bigger tanks do cost more, but in reality, in this hobby, the fish tank is going to be the cheapest thing that you have. And with that, that's also kind of the reason why I don't try to go to a 200 or, or bigger. I think the biggest set so far that I want for now is probably a 150 in reality because, uh, they have some, I found some that have some pretty sweet dimensions which is uh, 24 inches wide, 24 inches tall, and then uh, 5 feet uh, long. So with those dimensions, I think I would be happy. But I'm not saying that I wouldn't want a 200-gallon uh, or bigger tank. Uh, the re only reason why I wouldn't is because you need more flow. You know, you need more bigger lights. And you need bigger returns, more reactors that uses more carbon uh more gfo you know so it, with that is just something to uh consider another thing that uh comes with the big tank is that you can get more coral you can have more fish um you know so with that is just checks and balances that you got to weigh and see what works for you um this little midas plenty i thought i had lost him and i'm glad that uh he's still alive cuz you see that as he's just chilling, um, which is great. I love that fish. Uh, and if you don't have a blenny, highly suggest you get them. Whatever kind of blenny you get, they are worth it. This frag right here that I have of uh, SPS, I love it. Uh, I got it from Reefer's Garage. And you can see that um, the polyps are extended. And what's really cool is the tip. The tips are growing gold. You know, the base is green. But it's kind of like a rainbowish color, um, which is awesome. I don't know the name of the frag, so if you guys know, hey, feel free to put it in the comments below and let me know because uh, this is easily one of my uh, favorite new frags that I got. And as you can see, front and center is a starry eyed Blenny. He just follows me around. Uh, this is easily one of his favorite spots, the uh, leather. Um, he jumps there, he jumps through holes. You know, he sits on top of the monopore and it's just awesome. This bird's nest that I got right there has grown a lot. It's like a whole colony now. And I picked that up from the same guy, uh, 67 Mustang. Also picked up this uh, bird's nest right there from him. Uh, if you look back in several videos ago, I'll probably add a little link there just so you, just so you can see how small the frags were and see how much growth they have gotten. Uh, which is awesome. This Rainbow Millie, this is a Rainbow Millie I picked up from uh, Reefer's Garage. One of my favorite. You cannot see the colors yet, um, so hopefully I can get the conditions right. Like I said, uh, I'm not an SPS master, and I'm, I'm still trying, but uh, for now, I just want to keep everything alive, and then hopefully the color will come in later. Now, this next frag I also got from Reefer's Garage, and these three frags that I showed you, uh, the reason I got them, uh, one I actually ordered and the other two I told them to throw in because uh, I was charged shipping when, when I should have got it free. Um, this frag right here, uh, I really don't know the name of it, but it's like a golden color, which is cool. If you guys know the, the name of it, please go ahead and uh, put it in the comments below. My Blasto right here, not not doing too good with Blastos, but... It's still alive. The Garf Bonsai, one of my favorite. I picked that one up from uh, Cultivated Reef. And you can see it is branching out. It's also plating. And then front and center is a thing of bird's nest, which is my wife's. And uh, I, that's like one of the nicest bird's nests that I have. Uh, it's growing really good. And it started off as a tiny frag as well. I'm going to go ahead and show you the side part of this tank. Um, on this side, I have a lot of uh, Zoas, Pallies, and things like that. Um, it's going to be a little bit dark, but hopefully you can see it. Um, I got some Utter Chaos right there. Purple uh, People Eaters. 
um, and just a bunch of little tiny zoas. Um, and the reason they're here is because when I broke down my cube, um, I had pit them in the 120. I had pit a bunch of corals on the one from the 120, from the well, actually from the cube into the 120. And I just left them here because they seemed like everything was doing good. I have a small frag of utter chaos, uh, a little bit of bigger frag of utter chaos, and then the purple people eaters right there. And I, the utter chaos and the purple people eaters actually picked those up again from uh, Corey. So I do a lot of ordering online. And uh, when I get deals, um, I get a lot of them from a 67 Mustang. Now on the same side of the tank, you notice I have a bunch of uh, A-cans on the bottom. Uh, I have A-cans right there. I had to frag this uh, Mystic Montipora because it was getting too close to the green and purple A-cans. And uh, the green and purple A-cans I actually picked up from Cherry Corals when I first started. Um, still doing good and they've been with me the whole time of the reef tank. Um, I also have uh, mushrooms on the bottom, on the left-hand side of the tank, which I'm going to have to frag because uh, if you don't know, uh, mushrooms will sting the crap out of your coral. Um, I start off with one mushroom, and now there's easily five or six. And on those mushrooms, they get huge puff up, and uh, if they just touch a little bit of coral, they uh, tend to do some pretty big damage. So let's go ahead and take a closer look at the sand bed. Uh, as you can see, the Dragon Soul Favia is doing good. It's getting three eyes right now. It's growing fast. I have this toxic uh, LPS. I don't know what it's called. Um, I have some more acans in the back. And then uh, you'll notice this plating coral off on the far left-hand side is also doing good. I picked that up from Aqua SD. I have a few Zoas. And then this bird's nest right here on the left, I actually picked that up from uh, Tim when I went over to his house and recorded his uh, 125. Now if you guys haven't seen that video, uh, it's really an awesome video to check out. And uh, you know, Tim does really well. Um, also the uh, Mystic Mandipora on the back, uh, I it was actually dying and then uh, I glued it there. Just left it alone guys and it's starting to take over plating really nicely. Now for this video, when I recorded, I pretty much use two ways of recording okay I use my uh, cell phone which is a Samsung Note um, 6 and then I use uh, my camcorder uh, to record but uh, I play around with the ISO I did a video on that and then I also use these things called uh, gel filters which are little strips of plastic different colors um, you know I use orange I use all kinds of different colors to take uh, you know my video and my pictures like that so uh, if you want to see how to do that I'll show you uh, a video just click on the the link but other than that guys you know I like to see more of your guys videos uh, maybe if you have a channel below you you want to leave it in the comments go for it and I'll check it out um, because as much as I have fun making the videos I enjoy watching your guys videos as well and uh, if you haven't commented, you can comment below and I'll get back with you. Uh, it's also part of the fun of uh, YouTube. So with that, guys, I know this was a, kind of a long video, but I uh, actually shortened it down a, quite a bit because I can sit here, look at my tank at night or during the day, and uh, just, just talk fish all day long with whoever's willing to listen, uh, which is part of the fun of the YouTube community. There's a lot of uh, saltwater people, some people freshwater thinking over switch over to saltwater, you know, and it's really, really cool. I don't pretend to learn, know everything, but I, I do learn a lot from you guys. So uh, here's the front tank shot. One more, and guys, if you're just starting, just start off slow. You know, your tank will get stocked pretty much in no time. You'll run out of room for corals. And uh, it's just part of the madness and the fun of it. So if you haven't done so, guys, go ahead and uh, subscribe. And uh, like I said, if you have a channel, you're just starting off and you want somebody to check it out, feel free to leave it in the comments and uh, I'll be happy to check it out. I'm sure a lot of other YouTubers will be uh, happy to check it out as well. Um, thanks for watching, guys. Like and subscribe and you guys take care.